We're looking at unusual winter storm for early October with snow slick conditions, possible wind issues, especially around Flathead Lake. Modifying cold air mass on Tuesday, we could get some light snow south of Missoula towards uh, Lostro Pass, southern Bitterroot Valley, and also east towards Butte. And then Yellowstone Low, Wednesday through Thursday, going to bring more mountain snow. And showery on Friday, could see some snow in the mountains above five to 6,000 feet. Here's our weather story showing the possible damaging winds, uh, especially in that red area. The winds are going to be increasing tonight, could be the strongest overnight through daybreak Monday morning. The areas that we're concerned about most, Ferndale to Lake Blaine area, uh, along the foothills of Swan Range, and then also east side of Flathead Lake and across Flathead Lake, especially Finley Point. So any diseased trees or any trees that are not used to the northeast winds uh, could be susceptible to damage, potential power outages. And if we get heavy enough snow later this evening, there could be an issue with a little bit of snow on trees, maybe weighing them down a little bit and maybe impacting power lines. Uh, so that's still kind of a, a possibility. Here's our current highlights out. We've got uh, winter storm warnings across northwest Montana, high wind warning uh, for that area that I spoke about, Flathead Lake and the Ferndale to Lake Blaine. And we've got winter weather advisories basically co covering a lot of the mountains across the northern Rockies. The matrix shows uh, snow with wind, uh, higher impact across northwest Montana. And then Tuesday, there's a chance for some light snow with a, a weak warm front moving up from the south. And then Wednesday, we're looking at a chance of snow across southwest Montana uh, due to the Yellowstone low. This is looking at the satellite loop, shows a big low impacting Alaska and then cold air digging down uh, south across British Columbia with low pressure over eastern Washington. This is the radar for the last few hours showing surface low in eastern Washington state, uh, helping to bring moisture, uh, especially we've seen some uh, one hour precip rates of a tenth to two tenths per hour in eastern Washington. And as that moisture starts to move over Sanders County, northwest Montana this afternoon, uh, and as the Arctic front starts moving west, we'll see rain uh, mixing and changing over to snow at times, especially by this evening. So this is looking at the uh, current Mesonet observations at noon on Sunday, October 12th. And we're already seeing wind shift uh, in Canada. And uh, I'd say the Arctic front is uh, somewhere uh, along this line. It's made it through Kalispell. It's uh, cooling down. It's probably made it through uh, Marion, 34 degrees northeast winds. Uh, it's probably banked up against the, the lake. And it's probably hasn't made it through Sealy Lake yet, but winds have shifted to the east, west of Ovando, and we're getting east winds and Deer Lodge. Hasn't switched over at Butte yet, uh, but I'd say the, uh, the Arctic front is uh, somewhere around there. And uh, we should be cooling, especially later this evening. As far as the greatest sustained winds, uh, 30 to 40 miles an hour, we're looking at Flathead Lake. Ferndale to Lake Blaine. And then uh, this is looking at like Helmville. There's a pretty good chance for some stiff winds there. And then uh, also Hellgate Canyon. So this is looking at wind gusts greater than 45. So if we're looking at gusts near 50 miles an hour, same thing, uh, east side of Flathead Lake and north of Swan Lake. As far as snowfall, this is a 75% chance of this much snow across northwest Montana. Uh, we've got the warning out for northwest Montana, like Lincoln County, uh, US 2, and uh, you know a couple inches, up to four inches. And then on the high end of snow, we're looking at maybe six to seven inches. Uh, but you know, you got to think that some of this is going to be melting. And this is looking at 75% chance of this much snow uh, across southwest Montana, Lost Trail, uh, portions of north central Idaho. And then this is a 25% chance. So this is like the higher end uh, snowfall forecast. So we're looking two to four inches in the high end, maybe up to seven inches at McDonald Pass. And then one concern is going to be a chance for black ice. This is a combined probability of like cold temperatures less than 34, uh, wind speeds greater than five, and then a chance of precip and snowfall and basically the areas where you see that are yellow those are the areas that we think that black ice could be an, an issue because of the evaporational cooling you know even ground temps are pretty warm 40s and 
to 50s, we could still see some flash freeze of some surfaces. So be careful driving in these areas this evening and tonight through Monday morning. And here's looking at the same graphic across the south, uh, mainly looking at the mountains and across like Powell County uh, towards Butte, Homestake Pass, McDonald Pass, uh, towards Georgetown Lake and Lost Trail Pass. This is uh, just looking at precipitation forecast uh, from north to south, Pole Bridge to Gilmore Summit. And if you can pause this, if you want to look closer, this is the probability of precipitation, same places. These are the highs and lows. Wind gusts uh, should start ramping down Tuesday and Wednesday, a lot of areas. Still could be some northerly winds, 10 to 20 miles an hour with that Yellowstone low across southwest Montana, Butte. I-15. This is kind of trying to show a probability of precip uh, with the colder temperatures. The circled area is kind of an area of uncertainty. We're just we're just not sure how far north the warm front's going to move. And uh, but we have higher confidence for chance of snow like Lost Trail, the mountains of Limhi County, Southwest Montana, uh, maybe even Sula and Painted Rocks. And then. This kind of shows a spread in the snow levels on Tuesday morning at 9 a.m., uh, ranging from you know 3,000 feet to 7,000 feet in the southern Bitter Valley. So there's going to be a tug of war of uh, air masses on Tuesday morning. Could be a little tricky. For the Yellowstone Low, this is looking at a range of precipitation. This is the 90% chance of occurrence or the 90% chance of 48-hour uh, total precipitation. So bottom right, that is like the kind of the mean of all of these potential scenarios, at least a couple tenths of precip southwest Montana, you know, it could be a couple inches of snow in the mountains. On the higher end, this is like more of a 10% chance of occurrence. Uh, there could be some places that could get quarter to three quarters of an inch of precipitation, which could be, you know, four to 10 inches of snow uh, from like Williams Creek Summit to you know, the mountains of southwest Montana. Looking at cooler and wetter. Thanks for watching. Next briefings Thursday, October 16th. And then I'm just going to cruise through these. These are snowfall forecasts for uh, road sections across our area. So this is Highway 2. Here's 93, Kalispell, Eureka, Idaho border to Kalispell, Highway 2. Uh, there's a 2 to 5 inches, Marion. That's like the 25th to 75th percentile. This is 93, Missoula, Kalispell. This is Lookout Pass in Missoula on I-90. And there's Highway 12, 1 to 3 inches at Lolo Pass. 1 to 2 inches, Lost Trail. And then Highway 12, Garrison Junction to McDonald Pass. This is I-90, Deer Lodge to Homestake Pass. 